In this video we are sewing a hanging wall organizer with plenty of pockets and hooks for your keys. The link to the pattern is in the video description. The materials needed are listed here but you can also have another look at it in the PDF file. My pocket fabric was fraying a lot so I finished the raw edges with an overlock stitch. You might not need to do this if your fabric doesn't fray. I now place the piece of interfacing in the center of the single pocket pieces and fold and pin the side and bottom edges over for half an inch and the top edge I fold over twice for half an inch each time. If you are using a more sturdy upholstery fabric for the pockets, you won't need interfacing. In order to make the template for the interfacing, I folded the seam allowance to the back of the pattern piece and folded over the top edge twice. We are folding over the edges of all four pocket pieces in the same way. Half an inch on the side and bottom edges and double fold on the top edge, half an inch each time. Then we transfer the fold lines from the pattern pieces onto the left side of our pocket pieces. Please be aware not to count the seam allowance for this step. We now sew the double folded top edges of all four pocket pieces into place. Next we fold the top and bottom pocket strips over as shown in the diagram. We fold the fabric at each side edge of a pocket to the back for 3 inches and then we make another fold where we fold the fabric to the front for 3 inches. This creates the pockets. Each pocket is 6 inches wide. We pin the folded pocket pieces at the top and bottom edges so the fabric stays in place.
we place and pin all pocket pieces onto one of the main pieces next. The single pockets at the top we sew into place by sewing around the side and bottom edges, leaving the top open. In order to sew along the left side edge of the pocket rows, we fold up the pocket fabric so we won't catch the front of the fabric while sewing. We also fold up the fabrics in between the pockets so it's easier to sew the straight seam in the center between two pockets. And we fold up the front part of the pocket while sewing the pocket down on the right edge of the pocket strip pieces. We finish off by sewing across the bottom edge.
Next we fold over the side edges of the holder piece and pin and sew them into place. We fold the fabric in half lengthwise, pin it to the top edge of the organizer so that the raw edges line up with the raw fabric of the main organizer piece and sew it into place. Now we place and pin the other main organizer piece on top, right sides facing and sew all the way around leaving a turning hole open on the bottom edge. Then we turn the fabric inside out and pin and top stitch around the outer edge. This step will also close the turning hole. I'm now attaching the three hooks in the middle. I chose to use the ones you can glue onto the fabric, but there are also many other options where you can sew them onto the fabric with a few stitches or a ribbon slash strip of fabric. Next we can push the rod through the holder and attach the strings. And then our wall hanging organizer is done. 
We are already using ours in the hallway. I hope this will end the daily search for keys in our house once and for all. Thank you so much for watching and for sewing with me. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos if you like, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to see you over there. See you next time. Bye!